So with with the with the title of Hogwash, gibberish, and uh, tales by moonlight being published by the said national newspaper, the big question then is, if there is nothing in it, why fuel it with a reply? Well, well, clearly, what's happening in the southeast is um, a struggle for political leadership and their prominence, and of course, as usual, we've seen it in uh, the various. Uh, other democratic uh, dispensations where we have people from the southeast that were either speaker of the house of representatives or deputy speaker or even the senate presidency that has been occupied most of the times by prominent uh, politicians from the southeast and so clearly they begin to see themselves at the level of the national to be at the highest hierarchy of political uh, 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 decision making and so they deploy such influence into the region. And of course, uh, what you will see, the aftermath is this kind of bickering that you are already seeing. But unfortunately, I must say, for it's the, 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 the peace moves and the, 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 the innovative moves by the deputy speaker, you know, to bring peace to the southeast is a welcome development. But Considering the fact that the governors still remain the uh, chief security officers of the, the various states, it is expected that what we should have been seeing would have been more of a mobilization of critical stakeholders to participate in this move. But from what we are seeing, it simply may mean that most of the governors are not being involved and he has taken this thing on his own shoulder personally because of his zeal and passion to see peace in the area why you want to do that it is always good to follow the due process and ensure that all the other partners that will help that um piece of work that innovative piece of work to be uh, sustainable are all involved from the very beginning okay. right now they have the feeling that there is something in it for him. There's something he wants to achieve. There's something he wants to gain. And so there's already suspicion. And in that environment, I and uh, looking at the angle of uh, uh, Ohanese also speaking up against it, you can see that that very program is already crumbling from the very, very beginning. But what is troubling is, um, first of all, he called it gibberish, hogwash, and what have you. The publication that cited Ohanese and the Southeast governors as or being in opposition or not being in agreement basically with the Pice P project. However, they say there's no smoke without fire. The reaction from Ohanese, for instance, and maybe they subtle or silent, uh, non communication, uh, non communicated uh, uh, opposition to that by the Southeast governors, clearly says that from the launch of the project and their involvement or even communicating same. Uh, now, if we're looking, you talked about the process through which these things can be done. But the, the primary thing is this. This is not the first time that Benjamin Carlo is raising issue about South East. During the nomination of ministers, for instance, he, he category, I didn't hear any South East governor talk about the need to have give South East more ministerial position. It was Benjamin Carlo. He talked about it several in the media, went to the president, appealed for sin. We didn't hear anything from the Southeast governors or any other elected official. However, he was the one that championed that cause. Nobody said anything. But because now we're talking about security in the Southeast, during the, um, the, the military 2023 rundown of activities for their, their, their sector, which is security, Southeast was a peak, a major part of that conversation because yes. of the involvement of ESN and um, IPOB activities and all of that. There have been several calls for the Southeast governors to get genuinely involved, come together on a round table and begin to decide what happens to the region security wise. That is not hasn't been seen. It's been proposals of different kind. Now, Benjamin Khan, uh, Benjamin Khan is not a governor. He is not contesting the executive power of any of these governors. This is like a pet project that he is pioneering. Does his Pice P project in any way affect he is a son of the soil? I believe he should be entitled to do what he needs to do for the people. He's a deputy speaker. He occupies a very high office. Does any of this idea of Pais P in any way stop the Southeast governors from driving their own initiative? Well, clearly it doesn't stop them, but security is something that 
people can be at crossroads when you are talking about peace and security because um, it must be driven through such programs must be driven through established constitutional framework for security and peace in the area and like i've said earlier it will be difficult to champion um, any project about restoring peace to the southeast especially the depth at which the southeast has descended in terms of security crisis without the governors of the states being involved the governors like i have said they are chief security officers of their states they control they work with the commissioner of police and all other security formations which of course form the state security council and of course the same thing they pass it down to the local government and uh, they are also in control of traditional structures up to the cdc in communities and so if the deputy speaker has a laudable project that he wants to launch to bring peace and tranquility to the east i think the best bet would have been take your time get the involvement and buy-in of all the governors in the southeast and then at the same time push it along with them without the collaboration of the people in the first place there's no peace because it has filled up in issue because there's no agreement around it again describing their own opinion and whatever they their insinuations and their feeling about your program with such strong words as being tales by the moonlight gibberish and all of that also begin to de denote that he is not ready to work with others he just wants to push his agenda good as this may look the fact that others can be involved the other the fact that there is not enough collaboration and that and and that of course may mean that sustainability may be an issue already tells you that the program with all its great intention is already failing so my uh, suggestion would have been that the deputy speaker would have been able to reach out especially to his own uh, home base governor from the state where he comes from even begin a pilot study from his own state and then when people begin to see the success they will buy in from neighboring eastern states but when you want to take over the entire security of the uh, 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 you want to shoulder the burden of bringing uh, security to the entire southeast well, 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 it, it I, I like to quickly interrupt you here doctor Wibasa. do you think what um Okazia wants to do benjamin carl wants to do is to take over the security architecture do you think that this came across to the governors as a threat to their superior position at the regional level you think you think that is why they seem to have some form of angst over his sp project completely there are two things i want to say here they are already jittery that if his peace project is established he may have ample control over the security of the place and giving legitimacy to whatever network of security he is putting in place because uh, as we all know he that pays the piper will dictate the tone they may want to play uh, in his own direction but again one thing i must say here is most of the issues wars and problems in the southeast you cannot also exonerate the governors of those states there's a lot of stake actors involved in the peace and the uh, uh, destabilization of the southeast and of course even when they were not involved they take over such structures to assist them to maintain political power and so anything that seems to come in their way that will decimate these structures make them lose control of these structures I think they will uh, they are going to vehemently oppose it and so these are the two ways i see it 